Well, I've always, I guess because of my background, I've been always more or less an explorer type or looking at things I had, you know, trying to figure out how, how do things go together. And so, but the answer, we never scoped something out ahead of time. We just, uh, like, and I was generally the instigator of these things. I'd say, hey, you know, I think there's a climb we could do. Maybe we'll talk it over at, at the end of the day. You know, maybe if we went up that place there where that green wall is and go over here and get up there and go up, get up, make a nice route. So some, I'd ask a couple of guys, I'd say, yeah, we'll go with you. And so we'd just start at the bottom and, and start up. We, we never planned on some super rack which would carry everything imaginable because we're, I, th I, th I think we were just doing pitons then. I'm not, I don't think we had any uh, chocks or anything. Everybody was just doing the regular stuff and <clears throat> I was always sort of a loner. I was never in with a crowd that was trying to do, I think, uh, harder things or whatever. I was always looking for something that was interesting. Like Markwell and I climbed a couple of times and did some first ascents. And just because we, we thought it was interesting just to go off there by ourselves, find something that hadn't been done, and try to figure out how to do it. Uh, we sort of went about and did our own thing. Uh, and it was just sort of the pleasure of, of, of the climbing. And <clears throat> like a lot, I did a lot of these little, a little, a bunch of little first ascents because there'd be somebody that was just starting climbing or leading. And I said, hey, why don't we come over here on the other east side and do something? I said, here, why don't we just start here and, and say, maybe go up, up that away and you, you pick out your route. And so with that sort of encouragement, then these people would start leading and do something, and that was a first ascent. Yeah, it was sort of the casualness. It wasn't looking for like something big, because the person who was being the initial leader was somebody who maybe had led maybe a little bit before or maybe nothing before, and I just wanted to open their eyes to, hey, how to look, how to figure out where the handholds are. The reason for that was that when I was doing the illustrations for the first guidebook, the one that Robertson edited, uh -huh. that I was doing the drawings and there wasn't anything on the east side of North Peak. And just as a designer, you can't just have an illustration with blankness. So there had to be something to put up there. So I, I, get, I got a couple of groups together, a couple of part ropes together, and I said, with the idea, hey, let's go over there because we, I need some climbs to put in this guidebook. And so, and I suggested that since it was such easy work, and that uh, and I guess I had the idea that the army had gone there as, as a very rudimentary climbing area. Uh -huh. And I said, let's do this sort of on the motif of uh, Winnie the Pooh. And the thing is, nobody like was into doing chimneys. Everybody wanted to do faces. And that's why, like Thais, I had that first nice chimney in Thais. Maybe there's two pictures of a chimney. And anyway, and then no dally alley. Oh God, that was so damn nice. You choo -choo. I have the feeling later that a lot of this stuff became pure climbing, that people were just interested in that and nothing else. And I was never interested in being that deep into climbing that I would give up everything else. Climbing was not their sole reason for being. There's, there's more to life than just climbing.